So if you go back to the two-step funnels architecture, you'll find that, I mean, the two-step funnel, if you go back there, you'll find that the structure starts off like this. There is an ad, a Facebook ad, for example. Then you take people to what we call the opt-in plus pre-sale page. Now, here is where we ask people to give us their email addresses. In order for people to give us their email address, we need to offer something to people. Now, the thing that we offer is otherwise known as lead magnets. Now, if you've heard of lead magnets before, this is your time to have the complete introduction about lead magnets. All lead magnets that you can imagine, I will explain them. Also, I will have a section for them. It's a two hour long section that will explain to you exactly what lead magnets are and what types are there and how, you know, how you can benefit from, from all of them and the context in which you use one uh, above the others. And so to define the lead magnet quite briefly, it is what we call the ethical bribery. It's an ethical bribery. It's almost like giving something to someone for free. It's a bribery that you're giving them in exchange for an email address or a phone number but it is ethical because it's not against the law, so you can do it. And also, this happens by giving them something for free, of course, and that person needs to be willing to trade something in exchange for the lead magnet. Now, if you're interested in understanding all about lead magnets and lead magnet types, dig into the, to, you know, to the lead magnet uh, section. It's a 2.5 hour, hour long course. If you're not interested in knowing the details about lead magnets as of yet, you can skip the part where we discuss everything about lead magnets. Now, the power of free content is tremendous. Now, free always beats paid content. And if you picture it this way, if YouTube was paid, then nobody would have watched it in the first instance because people prefer free over paid. That's just the way it is. And this is why a lead magnet is so attractive. And that's why we use it mainly because people will give you their emails with no, no question. They will just give you their emails. If you're, for example, let's say in the marketing field and you have a book, a 300 page book that you are willing to offer for free, I challenge you to run an ad on Facebook and see if those people are going to give you their email addresses or not on the opt-in page. Most of these people are going to give you their email addresses. At least, I mean, the people that land on your page, they'll definitely give you their email because, I mean, email is people still up to this day, they don't actually think that it is dangerous to give their email addresses. As opposed to a phone, for example, you'll have a hard time giving or uh, getting, a, getting phone numbers from people than emails. But in my opinion, emails are just as good because chances are if you convert a person into the into a further further uh i would say phase of the funnel then you can start discussing with them and get perhaps their phone numbers and so to wrap this up if you give people the chance to select or to choose between free and paid a hundred times out of a hundred times they'll choose free that's the power of free content